Ugh. All right, so, fuck. It's been a while since I've actually motive vlogged anything. But I thought today was interesting since I'm going to downtown. Um, I'm gonna go meet this photographer called Taken Timeless. Uh, they reached out to me on Instagram and they're like, hey, do you wanna do a shoot? I was like, sure. Uh, I have no idea who they are. I know they shot something for one of my friends. Um, give me one second here. So let's try this again. Um, so I haven't motive vlogged in a while. The better days to do it since it's gonna be going downtown. Yeah, I live pretty far. So I'm gonna be heading downtown uh, to meet this photog photographer called Taken Limitless or Limitless Taken. Fuck, I feel horrible because I can't remember people's names. But yeah, I'm gonna be meeting them for the first time. Don't know if they're black, white, he, she, the they, them, him, her. Um, yeah, so it's kind of just uh, raw dogging my safety. <laughs> For anybody that's out there and uh, you ever want to be, you know, kidnap, uh, if you're a book talk girl and you want to kidnap a biker boy, just message them and say, hey, I'm a photographer. Uh, do you want to go ahead and uh, do a shoot with me? Because... I didn't cross-reference anything. I was just like, sure, I'm not doing anything today, so let's go ahead, mix and mingle and network. I'm like, fuck my safety. But like, realistically, I'm I'm not huge, but I'm pretty big for a guy. Uh, like 200, 203 pounds, 205 pounds, 5'11", muscular build. Kinda sounds like I'm. Uh, kinda sounds like I'm talking about a dating profile. But yeah, no, uh, I'm pretty big. So like majority of the time, I'm not really worried about meeting new people. So that should be fun. Today should be interesting. So yeah, uh, I've been gone for a little while. I've been kind of not so much doing the vlogging stuff. I don't. I don't know. Uh, I've been trying to figure out exactly what I want to do on YouTube. I've service. That's interesting. My bike just came up with a service light. I haven't seen that before. I'm gonna pull over and see exactly what that means. Okay, so a uh, brief moment of panic is done. I forgot that when I originally got this bike, I was like, I'm gonna be a good, smart, safe boy and turn on my services and da 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 da. Um, but I forgot I did that. So basically that service indication was saying, hey, change your oil, but I changed it before I went to Montreal. And I don't know, I just for totally forgot to reset it or take it off the last time I'm taking this light. What I'm really hoping for is that traffic isn't horrendous today. Nope, my X4 is back there. So I'm really hoping that the traffic isn't too bad. Um, I feel horrible having people wait for me. So hopefully I get there in a half reasonable, half decent or respectable time. I feel like I should set up my X4. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't hurt. It'd be a smart thing to do. And it's on. Oh. So, um, what's on the agenda for today? So let's start off with what I'm rocking today. Uh, some day and easy boots. Um, Ride rich pants. Alpine Star gloves, KYT helmet, Ragged Roads, wind water breaker thing. Uh, I feel like being doing a little different today. Uh, I feel like I'm always wearing speed and strength or stuff. I get it. I'm a brand ambassador for them, but sometimes you need a little bit of variety in your life. Considering that, like, 
he took the time to respond to one of my DMs, uh, asking for permission for me to kind of use a clip in, uh, use a clip of one of his videos uh, for this new thing I'm working on for Insta360. He was super genuine, super nice. We were able to kind of laugh and talk about a couple stuff. So I appreciate that. That's kind of like a new key thing for me right now. I've really been working on, yeah, making a lot of good connections with people. I feel like that's really important if I kind of want to continue to keep growing as a brand, but also trying to figure out how to market myself as well. Now I'm hoping I made a smart executive decision by not stopping to get gas just so I can make it to Distillery District in a respectable time frame. Oh, R1, I can't keep up. Oh, hold it on for dear life. Buddy, he's fucking moving. <laughs> Why doesn't Buddy have a seatbelt on? So, you're all about to witness the slowest DVP run known to man. Because you know me, I'm a man that believes in ride to arrive alive. You know what I mean? I'm trying to gauge, like, do I really want to cut it up? Fuck yeah, I'm going to. This is my least favorite thing. It's like, how badly do I want to get downtown very quickly? It's telling me 21 minutes. Let's shrink that down. Oh, I will find a way around. On the next episode of... Although bikers are the problems, I still hate people that are on their fucking phone texting while driving. And no, I'm not being hypocritical. I personally, myself, don't even like doing it. Actually, I don't do it. If I have to come to a stop, I'm gonna fucking go. I'm not doing this whole coming to a fucking complete stop bullshit. If I gotta put my foot down, I'm gonna split lanes. Some people look at me and I'm like, did I ruin your day by just existing in this fucking lane? I'm literally about to just take my fucking plate off. Actually, where did that biker go? This is uh, this is probably a me rule thing, but I have a very, I don't wanna say strict set of rules, but I have a set of rules where it's like, before I merge into someone, or like I merge into a lane, I take a look to see what kind of person is driving the car. Sorry, I got a burp. But by that I mean, if it's like some young fucking kid and you know, they're alert and they're paying attention, I'll just fucking merge right on in front. But if it's like a sweet, old, tender, oh, that sounds wild, like I'm trying to, <laughs> but it's like, if it's like a nice, sweet, old looking old person, I'll indicate point, you know, kind of make sure I make eye contact with them before I just abruptly end up in their lane. You know, they're just all old people, depending on how nice they are, are just like the golden parts of their still. What is Buddy doing? Oh, six kilometers to Richmond? Fuck it! Jump in this lane! What's up, doggo? But he's looking like he's having a rough time seeing. One point five clicks. Fucking boy needs gas. All right, ladies and gents, we're basically downtown. If anybody knows me, they know my fucking strong distaste for downtown. But I do need gas. So for a quick moment, we're just gonna go to, I'm gonna go to Richmond Street for a sec. Thing this, oh yeah, gas station. Get some uh, fucking gas. Oh fuck no, I'm not putting my card in there. <sighs> so I do this.
God damn it, I would be the kind of fucking idiot to do that. My trust in society is so small that... Actually, not society, just this fucking area. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna unplug my fucking cameras and everything, because... I don't trust people. A buddy looks zooked. <laughs> oh, what pump was I? Eight, I guess. Uh, eight. 25 premium on pump eight. Yeah. 91. Nope. Thanks, man. Oh, hot as titties. I feel bad. Like I'm running a little late. Hope this person isn't mad at me. Ready? It's drier than my fucking kneecaps in there. <sighs> am I still recording? I am. Lovely. I'd really love to scoot around downtown, but I have no desire. And I really don't feel like getting a fucking ticket from a little bicycle cop because my license plate is not properly. Is it on? Okay, it's on. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm fucked if it's not on. Fill her up, fill her up. When she asks, what's your intentions with my daughter? I'm trying to give her that premium. All right, where's my cellular device? You know what, I might just stick the fucking Insta360 back on. 31A Parliament Street. Uh, where the fuck is Parliament? Aggressive fucking song. Am I going the right way? Through an iPod Street? I guess so. So hot, hurry. I'm so confused as to what the fuck is going on. Uh, oh. Pardon? Yeah. Yeah. Insta360. Insta360. Like, no, the stick itself is from Insta360. It's the company that makes that camera. Is the name on it? Uh, yeah, it just says Insta360 on it. Oh, I see. Is it okay if I take a picture? Silver MK4. <laughs> oh my god, fucking Google Maps has failed me. Now I'm hot and sweaty and gross. I'm on the wrong side of the fucking thing. Too bad. I realized that my Google Maps is dog shit and it brought me the wrong way, so I was sitting in the intersection and kind of confused. But I, I'm heading the right way now. I just went the wrong way on Parliament. Alright, give me like five minutes. Oh, hey, it's a doggo. No doggo. Oh, I feel like I got dust in my eyes. Now it's fucking bright. Huh, Toronto Police. Cool building. I'm so mad. Like, fuck. Could have swore like it was up at the top, but now it's not up at the top, and fuck me. Oh, there's another doggo in the back. I'm on the verge of fucking losing my shit. Yui. Okay, Mark IV Jetta. Even then, she said it to me like Mark IV Jetta, like I know, or, well, yeah, it's a she, based off of the person that called me. Said Mark IV, oh, there she is, oh. Uh, oh, oh. Damn. My bad, I went the wrong way. Okay, and we're back. All right, so, let's get out of here. Alright, so this again. So we're on the road again. Uh, we're downtown. Um, I haven't put in the directions to get home, but I'm not too kind of really focused on that. For now, let me just enjoy what is 
downtown. Oh, there's a little heart thing. I was trying to figure out where that was. I hope with me tying the strings, I don't feel fucking choked. Hot as titties, though. I'm like, where can I go right now? I feel like I should just go home, but I'm like, there's so much potential for things to do. Do I have the time? Can I make it? If I put it into thing, oh, no, I can't. Do I make the left? I call this a side quest because I'm never actually down here. Yo, this is like the bootleg New York flat iron building. Don't at me. You can eat my dick if you disagree. That's really all this fucking building is. Just a fake flat iron building. Oh god, this light needs to change quickly. Freaking out here. I'm gonna take you guys to Young and Dundas. It's a scary place. Very scary. Come on. Come on, let me go, please. Oh, here it is. Young Street. I don't know if this guy's turning. I like this guy's outfit. I think that's why I like coming down here. It's, you get to see so much variety of fashion and people. Like, his outfit is so simple, yet it has such a classic and unique vibe to it. Um, Where's it going with this? Let me take a look down the fucking... I don't know. I highly doubt there's any bikes there. This is Young and Dundas. Just a weird, weird collection of shit. And look, it's a Maybach. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to say it. I'm just out here doing side quest. Can I make a lift? From 6th, today is Saturday though. Can I make a lift? I'm so confused. Oh, I kind of want to go down there. Fuck it. We'll make the next left. Follow on the inside of this guy. I'm on Bay Street now. Oh, it's a bus. Hey, yo, cuz, chill. Go, you fucktard. Also got to remember, I can't do fucking out-of-pocket sh- I've had enough roaming. Oh, let's get myself home.